Okay, so today we're going to be creating a stacked bar chart. So we're going to start with the same information. We're going to select cells B3 down to E8 because we want to compare these individual employees for these months. See who sold the most um, overall. We can do that using a stacked bar chart. So if you're here, these are column charts, which are okay. But we want to use a stacked bar, which is one over. Now you can do a 2D bar. Those are okay. This 100%, I just don't like it. It's not giving an accurate portrayal. It makes it look as if every employee has sold the same amount, which is not accurate. You don't want 100%. You want a true portrayal like this one. But we'll do something fancy. We'll choose the bar charts. So we'll go with, because this is stacked bar. You see, this is 3D stacked. And this is just 3D clustered. We want to do a stacked bar. So we're going to choose this one. And you see, again, we're just going to change the background. This time we'll go with a dark gray. Do something very different. We're going to make it bigger. So you can see the work area and all this stuff. But I'll make it longer. There we go. It is just not working out so easily for me. There we go. Okay, so again, we have the chart title. We want to change that. So you click here, you double click, and it comes up. We want to change the title one, title, chart title to region. One, sales comparisons. Okay, so it has the um, employees over here. It has the dollar amounts. And it has this, the legend. We're going to X out of this. We're going to select the chart. So then all of our different options come up. So we're going to click the plus sign. And we're going to click it because we need to add the access titles. Those are really important. So we're going to double click here. This access title is for sales associates. because those, this are all the associates names. Down here, this is the sales, the total sales. In thousands. And the reason this is total sales, if you look at it, this is stacking each month, one month on top of the other. So this is going to show their total sales. This shows that Denise has by far been the top producer behind Denise is Everett. If this was me and I was truly in retail still, I would look at Betty because she's by far falling way behind. She's not making sales, or if she is, she's barely making sales. She's only sold. We well, can't tell because we need to add our data labels. So we're going to click the plus sign. We're going to click data labels. <coughs> and for each one we want to add a data label to, we have to select that series. So I've got the data labels for the uh, month of March. I've selected here. I want to add data labels for February. I'm going to click January. And I want to add data labels for those. So you see it's added data labels for each one, which is super helpful. Okay, I've got my legend in here. Let me show you how you can also move the legend around. So you're going to go here. You know, you go to your little, you select the legend, you go to chart elements, you go to legend, go to the right corner, click on that. And then you can actually change where it is. You can have it on the right, the top, the left, the bottom. I just kind of like the bottom. It's out of the way. It doesn't shrink my um, graph down any. I just kind of like it there a little bit. So when you look at your region one sales comparisons, Denise has far outsold anyone. Um, and she's done that consistently every month. She's done it consistently. Um, sorry, she did it consistently January, 
February should continue to outpace anybody. However, if you look at March, March is when um, Everett started to catch up with Denise. It's only through her cushion here in February that um, Everett could not catch up with her. So that sums it up. It's really easy to do a stacked bar chart. And you use a stacked bar chart to compare um, the contribution of the individual piece to the whole. So if you look at it, Denise is by far contributing her fair share. Like you can see how everyone in this area is contributing to the success. <clears throat> and it shows the total sales of each employee for this quarter. So this is your assignment to do the um, stacked bar chart super easy <clears throat> save it right here just like this so then when you upload it for grading it's right here it's prominent and I'll be able to see it as well um, and I think that's it alright so have an awesome day